The Phoenix Suns are about to go on a huge winning streak. And you can mark my words. They are about to come alive. They've won four of their last six games, um, including a couple of big wins over pretty good teams. And when they finally get their big three together, this team is going to be scary. They got the best scoring duo in the NBA, the best third score in the NBA. And this, this team... Is about to, like, I mean, like I said, they're about to explode. They got a defensive minded head coach, and they just dismantled the best defense in the NBA. Before the Timberwolves played the Suns, they had the number one defensive rating in the NBA and were holding opponents to the fewest points in the entire NBA by a wide margin. Okay, after KD and company come in, whoo, the Suns dropped 133 on them, and now you're seeing what happens. They have two extremely skilled scorers that you really can't stop. Uh, the T-Wolves now have the number two defensive rating and the number five opponent's points per game. And let me get started here because the Suns have the most in unstoppable offense in the league. When you got guys like KD, guys like Devin Booker, that can do what they want with the ball and are such elite scorers that you cannot stop them no matter how you try, it's impossible to stop them. D-Book had a really good game against the Timberwolves. KD have, had an even better game. I mean, just watch some of these clips. Here he is sizing up a 7-footer on the perimeter, stopping on a dime, shooting over him like he's playing against a 5th grader. They don't even have Bradley Beal. Like, when it gets down to it in playoff series, this that's what's going to put them over the top. That's what's going to elevate them over other teams is their ability to just score whenever they want. They're bringing the mid-range back. They're tough to stop getting downhill. You watch the Suns. They have a lot of high elevated ball screens. Here they are in a horn set. D-Book just getting to the rim. I don't know how in the world he made that. But like I said, they're bringing back the mid-range with D-Book with KD. And they love that high ball screen because D-Book, when he gets downhill, he's tough. Now, the big question here in Phoenix is when is Bradley Beal going to get back? Because once they get to full health, full strength, this team could be really tough to stop. He's expected to miss several more games with a back injury, and he will be reevaluated in about three weeks. So that's a tough pill to swallow for the Suns, but I think even without him, they're going to get out to a hot start uh, over the next couple of weeks. 17.3 points a game, 5.3 rebounds, and 3.7 assists for Bradley Beal so far as a Phoenix Sun. Now, he's only played in about three games. Hasn't really got his efficiency up, but, you know, when you're com coming back from injury, small sample size there, so don't look too far into those numbers. Remember, just a couple of years ago in 2020, 2021, he was the NBA scoring champ, averaging over 30 points a game on pretty good efficiency, and he can still be a secondary playmaker because right now it's looking like D-Book will be the primary playmaker. We'll get to that later, but he is passing the ball like never before. So make sure you hit the like button, leave me a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button as well as sticking around till the end of the video as I tell you why you need to watch out for the Phoenix Suns here coming up shortly. And then also make sure to that subscribe button. As you can see here, a lot of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed to the channel, so make sure that is not you. Now let's go ahead and get started looking at the unstoppable duo. And as I mentioned, this team, they get to their spots. These two guys, when they get to their spots, they're unguardable. And when it comes down to it in crunch time playoff situations, that is how you win basketball games. End of story. You see KD's stat line there. I mean, yet again, unbelievable. His efficiency is just off the charts. We've never seen somebody that is able to do this night in and night out. And he's also playing defense this year, which is another added level to his game. That's unguardable. And right now, Kevin Durant deserves to be in the MVP convo because he's got some of the best stats in the NBA, and even though the Suns are 6-6, six and six, they're about to get hot. Like I said, D-Book, he's passing the ball like never never before. 10.3 assists per game. Oh, by the way, he's also averaging a 30-piece. Now, small sample size, but he is his efficiency is off the charts. He's played in about four games so far this year, and in those four games, like, I, like we said, efficiency off the charts. They are clearly better with Book. I mean, who wouldn't be? They're 3-1 and one when he is active and playing. So, Devin Booker, Getting back to full strength alongside of KD, this team is scary. Um, along with the shooters that they have, D-Book and KD both shooting at 48 plus percent from three is absolutely wild. KD, over 13 games shooting at 50% from three is just remarkable. But they've got Grayson Allen, who averages about 12.2 points, 4.8 rebounds, 2.7 assists. Fan favorite in college basketball, uh, shooting at 47% from the field, 49% from three on five and a half attempts per game. So no matter if you love him or you hate him, you probably hate him. Uh, he is out there 
knocking down the three ball at an alarming rate if your team's trying to lock down the Phoenix Suns. Uh, because you got to worry about KD, D Book wants to get Brad Bill back. You have to worry about him, and then you got to worry about another dude that's shooting at 50% from three, and Eric Gordon, who's averaging 14 points, about three rebounds, two assists, on pretty good efficiency himself, about 46% from the field, 37% from three. Even though he's getting up there in age, still giving the Suns very good minutes off the bench, and I I'm liking it a lot. The way this roster is constructed, um, Allen, Gordon, and Yuta Watanabe. All three really elite three-point options. Now, Watanabe is not playing too many minutes. As you can see here, he's not really averaging that many points. And he hasn't been shooting it well to start the year. Uh, started off kind of cold and a little bit of a slump. But he has been getting it up. He's up to 38% from the field and 37% from three in about 19 minutes. So hopefully for the Suns, that continues to rise. And he continues to be a knockdown shooter as we saw him last year um, with a couple of different teams. Now, a nice surprise for the Suns has been they've got a little bit of depth. Uh, we just talked about their three shooters there, but also Jordan Goodwin coming over from the Wizards in the Beal trade, and then Drew Eubanks coming over in, what, free agency? Or was he, was he trade? I think it was free agency. Uh, Nurkic came over in that trade. He's not been great. Um, somewhat, well, not somewhat, extremely inefficient, about 12 points, nine rebounds per game for Nurkic. But Drew Eubanks has been elite in that backup center role. So the outlook for the Suns, like we said, they, they have an easy schedule coming up. They're playing at Utah tonight, about an hour after this video will go live. And then they play Portland. So a couple easy games there against rebuilding teams. And you get Golden State, who's really been struggling lately. lately. They've lost six straight. That is a home game. That's probably a must win. So you get to nine and six, and then you go to Memphis, who is one of the worst teams in the league record-wise right now. Theoretically, you could be 10-6 and six there, a little four-game win streak. And then you get you got to go to New York, which will be tough. I imagine they drop one of the Golden State, Memphis, Knicks, or Toronto game. It'll probably be the New York game. Um, I feel like they can handle business everywhere else, so winning five of your next six should not be too difficult. Let me know your thoughts, though, down in the comments below. This is a very good Suns team. I think once it comes down to it in winning time, in playoff time, we saw it last year. They took the Nuggets to six games, which was further than anybody else even dreamt of taking them. Um, now, the Timberwolves put up a little bit of a fight, but we saw the Suns just absolutely demolish the Timberwolves, who were the best defense in the NBA, literally setting them back a whole five ranking spots on opponents' points per game. Now, the Pelicans also scored 120 points on them, but not 133 in a blowout. So, shout out to Phoenix for that. KD, if he continues to shoot it at such a rate, He'll probably be the MVP. 53% from the field and 50% from three. Are we? Are you kidding? On 50 or on 30 points per game? Absolutely wild. With that being said, that's going to be it for today's video, though. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button and hit the subscribe button if you did enjoy it at any point. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video.